Hello everyone, Vanish Private here and we are currently in Gwent, which is a card game. Uh, what I want to show you today is a very powerful Northern Realms deck. Just a quick overlook, overview of the cards I'm using. So based on the Royal Inspiration, just to get us extra provisions through. Really. Yeah, nice, nice, 166 provisions we can use. And that allows us to have really powerful cards in our deck and then a bunch of fillers so uh, crystal school the veil is really nice it allows us to prevent poison and lock on our crucial cards I want to play uh, amphibious asphalt I don't have to talk about the cards really awesome you can play it twice and allows you to just find the card you really need renew helps you reuse a card that got killed uh, Queen Adalia, really nice card don't even defender must have then we have a triple combo uh, tr three cards so uh, Priscilla uh, then like as usual Dandelion with Priscilla and Visigotha they also work with Neneca as well Necromancy again to bring back cards that killed Fisher King helps us really to uh, plan our next round. Nathaniel, Anna Stenger, uh, Reinforcement, Nighthood. This is a new addition. I haven't yeah, I used this card, uh, but it's a recent addition to my deck. Uh, for unlocking cards. Then we've got uh, Temerian Drummers, Crow's Eye, Inspiration Ballad, Rune Ward. Uh, again. Med charge and three I mean fun train, that's it. Pretty sure it will be linked in the description of this video. Now let's give it a go and let's try it in practice. Because the deck is really powerful. You can have games where you end up with like 150 power thanks to all the combos and, and uh, card combinations going on. Of course, like every deck has some weaknesses. But during the last months, I've been trying to improve it as much. So it's a really hard one to counter. Not the best pick to begin with, but we do have Nathaniel, we do have uh, Temerian Drummer. First round will be more of a warm up, trying to cycle for the cards we really want to get. And we'll see if we can win it. Uh, we'll try, but we'll no, we'll not try really hard. We'll just I seek give it victory, a go. not glory. Boost an elf in your hand. Okay, okay. We're gonna we're going to go with Nathaniel. This rosy skin will roast quite well. I'm gonna play Tamarion Drummer next, or we could always use Knighthood if he plays something high power. Echo, interesting. On a romancy. It's a trap card. Not cool. Not cool. We don't like traps. So yeah, I do have necromancy if I lose it to Marian Drummer. But we have to play something again anyway. And again and again. Oh, there's poison, that's okay. We do have Crow's Eye. Question is if he has another poison? If he has another poison, we'll just use Necromancy to bring back the drummer and keep buffing Nathaniel. Poison Death Blow. Oh. Not bad, not bad.
An army's a waste of time for one like me. Interesting. I do want to keep reinforcements. Knighthood, I feel like I can play Knighthood. Alright, we've got three bleedings going on all the three enemy cards. That's pretty decent. And we kept our Tamilian drummer alive with knighthood, that's good. We do have the advantage. Oh, that's not cool, that's not cool. My friend. Although I feel like I can easily pass. He's got three bleedings going on. He's one card down. He needs to play something in order to win this. So it was a very good round for us with Nathaniel. There he goes. He plays a card. We elves have our paths. Don't worry about me. <laughs> so he has to pass on the next round. We're going with Amphibious Aswald on the pass round. Uh, we don't need Crow's Eye. Actually, Fisher King. Oh. Fisher King seems like something we can just play. I kind of want to cycle through Inspirational Ballad. It's gonna be great for us, I think. There we go, that's why I like Fisher King. So we need Dandelion. Yes, Dandelion is the card we really want. But we could always try to get Queen Adalion. No, let's go with Dandelion. Thanks to that, even though we're still 1-1, one one, I can cycle now from more cards to get the ones I need than my opponent. Small advantage, but always something I can redraw free cards. I don't want, really don't want that. Mm. He might try to move something around, I guess. Renew, do I want Renew? Nope, no, I don't want Mahaka Mail. Neneka is nice. Neneka is nice. Inspirational Ballad, we don't want that. There we go, nice draw, really nice draw. Mind your words, and who you address, and how you address them. I can say we've got a perfect draw. If they kill Donimir, we can always bring him back with the Renew, so we keep our defender where he needs to be. Neath the ground rest countless wretches and corpses. Worst case scenario, they move him to the front row, Milio. That's something we Sometimes don't like. the price is too damn high. Sadly, he doesn't have the moving ability of his commander. He might have some cards that do that. A dagger. <laughs> Where is the challenge? Okay, so he's going to kill Donimir with poison. We'll bring him back with uh, 
focus on light in by four, give it armor. If you control the knight, also give it Vitali for three turns. I feel like we should boost Visigoda now. He's going to poison, then he will try to kill. Yeah, let's do it. For Redania, for its glory. Just to make sure he stays alive. <laughs> He's thinking. He can remove Don Emir and then he can try to attack Visigotha, but he needs to have like a Witcher. Something really good to get rid of that. Maybe he will try to lock it. So we don't have any counter to lock. A wee hint. Danny Jiggles. He's got no locks, so we're good. A coat of arms is nothing you choose. Dare not mock mine. We're absolutely good. So, our combo is is, is really it delayed. It is, but. We just want to make sure that it's safe. If we make sure it's safe, it's absolutely safe, then it's really hard to stop it. Once it gets going, it grows really to huge powers. Okay. Glad in Fort Duan. You stand no chance. Rumors travel faster than the wind. We've got already 13 charges. Good luck with that. We're going to use three dummy infantry as the last one. Uh, what can we bring actually with uh, amphibies as well? We can bring Anna Stenker. You like surprises. Oop, not cool. That's why I tried to uh, boost Priscilla. Just to keep her inspired. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm going to use Freedom Infantry now. I can always bring another from PBS as well if he gets killed. Or just uh, use reinforcements on him. To arms! Because I don't like when they start stacking Elven Dead Eye for some possible combos. Try to kill some of the units if we can. Okay, no luck with killing the units, but there's damaged, and we got rid of one. I think. It's really low on power now. It he forfeited. So here you can see how powerful this deck really is. I mean, this is just one game. Obviously we need to try it a few more times, but I'm just being from my personal experience. I've been playing this deck for, for like almost a year, I think. Half a year, at least half a year. And I did modify it many times, that's true. But in this form, it just feels to be the most successful. Although I did change recently two cards, because I wasn't happy with two cards I had in my deck. I just kept cycling them out, out and out. It seemed like I never have a chance to really make a use of them. 
All right, we start. We start. We have the crystal school. Really awesome. Mm -hmm. Don't have. Don't have uh, Donimir, so we want to uh, remove med charge. Uh, rune ward. We don't really want to keep rune ward on our pick hand. Anash tank, a really strong card there. It's looking decent. Although we don't want two Temerian drummers. Or two trade, I mean, countries, I guess. Whatever. Okay. Spawn, uh, Dana, Rally Token Doom, Harmony. It's fine. Okay, since we have just one Temerian drummer, I will try to. Again and again and again. To play him first? Hopefully he doesn't die. <laughs> we'll have second in the deck, but it's not a very important card. My name? I don't recall. Okay, there he goes. Um, Tridam Infantry. We can play both Tridam Infantries because we do have Necromancy for the uh, other round we want to win. And we still have Nathaniel, although he's uh, more of a... Uh, he takes more time to really uh, be Jesus effective. Stand tall, dead one push you high. Not cool. Poison. So actually... I'm really thinking now. Really think if I should use Veil on, on Tree I mean Infantry so he does not get another poison. Yes, I'm going to do it. Oh, I think I, I should do it on Nanash Tanger, but just really hoping now that he doesn't have uh, doesn't have two poisons more. Okay, he did pass. He knows what's coming, and he knows there is no stopping this. Three powers growing every turn, then one doing damage. Ah, luck. Do we want to have luck here? Nathaniel, you're probably out, I would say. And then the lock is probably out as well, or a run word lock. Look, can be helpful. I feel like I want to. Get rid of the rune ward, okay. We really don't have this Zagota, I do not like that. Because we need both Donimir and this Zagota. We can only play one. Uh huh. Do we try it? I think we can try it. Let's show him what real art is. Although I will be really, really disappointed if he's got uh, cards to move these range units to the Miliro. There's a huge risk I'm taking here trying to play uh, the combo without the uh, uh, Donimir of Troy, Defender, that will prevent uh, instant actions that can be taken on my cards. Mm 
Okay, he can lock it, that's okay. Honestly, I don't care so much about the lock. Famous last words right there. Now it's very clear what I'm doing, so it's like no, I'm not even trying to hide it, not even trying to secure it. It's out in the open. He sees the two cards, he plays uh, a trap. He plays a trap, that's okay. Because I'm going to play Queen Adalia and then put the three damage infantry with a shield. There are things in the universe of which even the sages have not dreamt. Trident! He can poison Adalia, that's not a problem for me. And then, it, of course, the Trio Infantry has a shield, and I have another one on my hand. So it's going, it's going really well. I think I'll put ins Inspirational Ballad on him, just to get him going. The wood shall turn against you. It's okay. Good read of the Adalia. Yeah, that's fine. takes five turns to get it done so we have six cards in our hand it will be over the end and might provoke him to remove this card instead of targeting Dandelion and Priscilla I do have necromancy, so I can bring back uh, Temerian Drummer. All nails are your foe. Interesting. Really interesting How play the there. I guess let's let's do it. An army's a waste of time for one like me. Pretty equal 25 to 21, but we have a strong combo already going with Tamarian Drummer and uh, uh, Trident Infantry, and he's uh, he's got Vitality for another four rounds. If this is me now, who was I before? All right, we do. Do we unlock first? I guess we do unlock first and then play. Okay. And now we're gonna play Visigota, and we'll get him going. Damage by four. He's going to kill three Some damage. Cannot be uh, Temerian drummer. That's okay. It's not like we really need him. <laughs> Actually, the the cart we don't need so much. Critical thinking, the sign of a healthy mind. And then we're going to give him one boost, and if he gets killed, we can always use renew to bring him back. We can always use renew to uh, bring back Anna Stenger. And stack her with Tridam Infantry, second one as well. There's just so many things we can do. The humans grow bold. Find yourself we must be vigilant. Nothing. Still going strong, 41 to 41. Honestly, I'm going to play second tree damage infantry. Awaiting your orders. 
just so he doesn't have an option to just remove one easily. There are two strong ones going on. But now we're, we're getting power so quickly. They highly, highly doubt that he's got a way to stop it. He's, we've got two strong rows, so one Witcher is not gonna uh, just uh, remove all of the power from one row. That's why it's pretty well balanced, making use of both rows. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. Interesting. Alright, we're, we're, we're keeping lock for the better end. Well, probably, we'll, we probably won't get anything really, really useful to have it used for. Okay, we're playing Anna Stenger. There she comes, let's give her like 7 to just counter from uh, from quite a few cards that will possibly kill her. And then you will probably surrender. I highly doubt he's got something to control uh, order. Broccolon! Oh, that was a nice attempt. Keeping her alive. We're gonna lock this. And let's see what he's got. All nothing. <laughs> 79 to 41. Two rounds won. We're going to play one more game. One more game just to really show what well, another scenario. Two, two games is not really a big sample. Uh, so. You, you will see again how great the deck is. I mean, hopefully, because I still happen to lose playing this deck sometimes. We sin trees greet it's every guest doesn't with have, arms wide Doesn't have 100% win rate, of course, but it just feels powerful. It's finally a deck I'm happy with. High success rate. Uh, lock? Do I want to keep lock? I feel like I want to keep lock. I uh, really want to have uh, Tridam infan uh, Infantry on my hand. Not really around for a Fisher King, I feel. Okay, I'm not very, very happy with the pick we've got. Oh, we'll have to do with it. The eternal fire be with you, in you. What's not I doing it? All right, we'll have we'll be facing the same deck. <laughs> Something I really like. I'm not sure if he's using a siege. I highly doubt it's going to be a siege deck if he if he doesn't have uh, Destiny is unswerving. Cheated. Left, it will not be right. Left, right. Highly doubt it will have any trebuchets or siege machines. Uh, siege, siege engines if he's using Tridam Infantry and uh, Royal Inspiration. Again and again and again. Well, what we don't really like here is we don't have many, really that many options to play. Because knighthood is one thing we can we can do now. Uh, 
Oh, that's a bit of an overkill there. Oh, gonna push him. There we go. It's already 24 to 8, and he's got bleedings going on both of his units, and... Huh. Oh, not cool. So we'll get to lock it. How about that, my friend? <laughs> Opponent connection lost? <laughs> oh, this is the typical rage quit. Oh my. What a joy. I mean, shameful for the video, because I will, I will not have a chance to really show how the deck fares against similar decks, because I've been facing lots of decks. They're also based on the trade, I mean, infantry and boosting and the same tactic. But honestly, I've defeated, I believe, most of them, the vast majority of these decks based on the same tactic just because I use better cards, better combos and it's more planned, more balanced. Well, I guess I would just enjoy the, enjoy the win that way. <laughs> well, I mean, I would, it's possible he got disconnected but it happened right away after he uh, locked his uh, good card that was, well, allowing him to continue the game have a chance to win the round. So here it is guys. I honestly believe it's a very powerful deck that also is also original because I haven't seen anyone use the same deck as I use. I've seen people using similar cards, similar decks, similar tactics, but it's, uh, this one is one of a kind. I'll be happy to uh, know your opinion, what you guys think about this deck. And, uh, well, make sure to subscribe, comment and like the video. Do the fancy clicking, non-clicking. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Uh, it's always nice to have some traffic, some action, some stuff going on and happening. So guys, thanks for watching and till the next time, Banished Out.